Yeah. Good morning. I have my canvas bag for all my goodies that I find, my homemade iced vanilla latte and my reusable, this is like a little, I think it's simple modern um, from Target, it's so cute. And let's go shopping. Good morning and happy Earth Day. I'm so excited about this video because you guys know I love to thrift. Most of my clothing is secondhand and thrifted and what a better day to talk about all of my thrifting tips and show you a little bit of what I got today at a thrift store than on Earth Day. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I have had a few questions in the past just about how I like to thrift or what helps me. And so, yeah, I'm here to share with you all of my little tips for you. I got invited to go to the Uptown Cheapskate close to me to check out their Earth Day sale. If you are not local to Salt Lake, then you will not have an Uptown Cheapskate available to you. But if you are, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking them out. They are an awesome company, and I think it's the best way to introduce yourself to thrifting whenever someone asks me a question of how do I get started or the thrift store is so overwhelming, how do I do it? My number one tip is to start at a place like Uptown Cheapskate or even Plato's Closet. I know that's more, you know, around for lots of different people. Um, I just think those places are so helpful because they are like a buy and sell store. So you know that those pieces are carefully picked and displayed out on the floor. So it's not so much of a hunt for those good pieces all of the good pieces are in front of you. You just kind of have to find what speaks to you. And so it's the easiest way to get into thrifting without having to go to like a Goodwill or a DI and feel so overwhelmed because those things are just, anyone can drop anything off and everything's put out um, as opposed to like a buy and sell type of store. I was so excited to go to Uptown this morning. They were so, so nice there. The store manager, Summer and her husband, they are the management there over at the South Jordan location of Uptown Cheapskate. And they were so wonderful. I got there early just because I felt like I wanted to have a good pick of the selection. So that's another tip. Whenever you're going to the thrift store, get there early. You know, you don't want to go later in the day when everything good has already been picked. Like I wanted to get in there bright and early especially because they did have a sale going on so I knew things would go quick um, and when I got there she was so lovely she like walked me around the store kind of told me a little bit about their setup which was so awesome because I'd been there before but I'd never heard of like strategically how they set things up and what they put out and it was just so awesome and she talked to me about their own little uptown line that they've created of t-shirts that are like sustainable and it was just so wonderful to hear a little bit more about the store from her. Hi I'm Summer and I owners here at Uptown Sheepskate South Jordan so I was just telling Perfect. Carly a little bit about our UC limited line which is designed by us and we pick the vendors to make so sure cool. the quality is like really good. Yeah. We're using people from the United States who are getting paid well to create t-shirts like this so that's so cool and we're really another tip that I have whenever you're going to a thrift store that you really enjoy and that you frequent you can always ask them like hey when do you set out you know all of your merchandise or when do you put out new stuff and they will always tell you I know that this um, South Jordan location I specifically asked her so I could let you guys know and she let me know whenever like something good comes in because it is like a buy and sell so they have people coming in all the time whenever those pieces are bought from the customer they just like scan it through they price it they put a little tag on it and then they immediately set it out so that was really fun to hear like whenever something good comes in they immediately put it out which is fun that way you don't have to like go on a certain day like you just never know when a good thing is gonna come. And my last little tip before I dive into what I picked up today is to skip on the bag. A lot of these um, secondhand thrift stores will, I mean, and I feel like stores everywhere nowadays are like encouraging you to bring your own bag. So it's nothing new, at least for me. Specifically at Uptown Cheapskate, if you decide not to get a bag, they will donate five cents to their little fund, charity fund, to help build schools around the world. And if I remember specifically, because I was standing in line and I was eavesdropping on the conversation in front of me and someone was telling the customer in front of me that through those donations they I think as a whole like as a company they have built 13 schools around the world so I could be wrong if it's like 
just that location or the whole company, I'm not sure, but I know it's 13, so 13 schools around the world, which is so awesome, and you can find that through any um, thrift store or any local store. They usually have like a charity they're trying to help out or a service mission they're you know creating. So it was just really cool to obviously help and donate through that as well. Not only are you shopping secondhand, so you're lowering that fast fashion demand, um, but you were helping out like another cause. At the beginning of the vlog, I showed I bring my own like canvas bag because sometimes I don't know if I'm gonna have like four pairs of shoes and this and that or whatever. So it's just easier to put it in a bag. But honestly, like you're walking from the store to your car most of the time. So you can easily hold it, you could skip out on a bag. It's not that big a deal. Um, and it just helps out a ton with that little small decision that makes such a huge impact in the long run. So one of the first pieces that I wanted to show off of what I picked up today was actually this top. I am obviously wearing a different outfit in a video this morning, um, but I just wanted to wear it. Like I'm so excited. Uh, so this is just this gingham, sorry, I just have on like little sweats. Um, a little gingham top, like a little wrap top, and I think it's so, so cute. I, obviously a wrap shirt is like so cute and so feminine and flattering. A high-waisted pair of jeans or shorts, I just thought it'd be easy and breathable for over when we're traveling in Europe. I don't really know specifically what the weather will be like, but I just wanted something super breathable, super easy to throw on. This top also just like looks like I put more effort into it than I did, and that's kind of the theme that I went for when shopping for my honeymoon. I wanna be comfortable, we're gonna be you know walking around all day, but I also wanna be cute for like pictures and stuff like that. So I think like a wrap top is such an easy way to dress up an outfit but still feel super comfortable and like really cute. So yeah, I just really liked it. Like I think it's really cute. The next thing I picked up, um, I knew I wanted to grab a new pair of shoes. That was just like on my list. I wanted a new pair for our honeymoon. So I picked up these gorgeous like blush suede flats, which I'm like dead. I love this like detailing, like this shape when it's in a heel, when it's in a flat. I think it's so gorgeous and flattering on the foot and it just makes the shape a little bit more exciting. And it's a pointed toe, which I love a pointed toe. I really wanted to get flats because I knew obviously we'd be walking around a ton, but I think that these are just like the perfect mix of like casual and a little bit dressy if I wanted to wear these to dinner one night or if I just wanted to wear these, you know, around as we're walking. I don't know, like I just thought it was an easy, good transition from day to night. Um, so I picked those up, which they're so to die for. And these were $9.99 and love them because they're so like, barely even worn. I don't get too freaked out when I'm buying shoes secondhand just because like that just doesn't bother me. But I do look for ones that are obviously not as loved and worn because I want them to last me a long time. Um, so I just go for the ones that haven't really looked like they've been worn. So yeah, I loved these. Such a good find and I'm so excited to wear these. My next little piece is actually this white dress. So I'll show you the top first but it's just this gorgeous like little detailing that I love the sleeve detailing. And yeah, it's just like a cute little, um, it goes up to like my high thigh, um, just like a really casual, almost like linen-y type dress that I really think is so beautiful for like spring and summer. Again, the material is so flowy and just very breathable. Um, I love the detail. Like, I love how it's like a collar neck. I think it'd be so cute with like my hair up in a bun, cute statement earrings. Um, and yeah, I really wanted something white um, just to wear. Obviously, I'm like such a nerd, but like on my honeymoon, I want to wear white, you know, and feel very like bride-like and like annoying like that. Um, but yeah, I really love it. So this dress was originally $28. 96 and I got it for oh my gosh, so many tags 11.99 so awesome awesome price and just like a great quality again like that linen material that's so gorgeous and I just think it's so fun very feminine and will be super good to wear and easy to throw on again this is just like an easy outfit choice and just like really easy to pack up um, and take with me so love it Keeping with that white theme, I don't know why I was just like so attracted to white, but I got this gorgeous top. Um, so I just really loved it. Like I think it'll look so cute with like just a pair of like nice high-waisted mom jeans. And the reason I got it was because these pom-poms on the sleeve, like it just makes it so, so fun. 
Um, and just super wearable. It's white so it's easy to pack and throw on with any sort of bottom that I bring. I think that's what I want to do the most is just bring like staple jeans and then have fun, easy, interchangeable tops throughout the day. This could easily go from day to night with like a more dressier heel at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I really loved it. Not too much to talk about with this one. Um, it is J. Crew and it was $10, which I absolutely loved. The last piece that I got, which I'm so excited, I just like imagine myself like on like a wine tour or something in Italy when we stop over there. And this is a gorgeous yellow dress. Like, isn't this just so fun? So I love the sleeves. I'm really like into sleeve detailing right now. I don't know what it is, but I love it. It has a nice little ruffles. It's a nice like V-neck dress, which I think is so pretty. Again, like with your hair up, um, just like cute sandals or even wedges. Again, this is like a nice little like cafe lunch or a nice, just easy, simple dinner. I think it'll be so pretty. And when I have a tan, I'm gonna die. I think it's so cute. So this is, oh, this was originally $27.99 and I got it for $11.99. So again, super awesome steal and I just really loved it. Again, I really searched for a couple dresses that I could just easily pack away and then those easy staple tops that I could interchange throughout the trip with other bottoms. Um, so those are all of the items I picked up. I didn't go as crazy as I like thought I was going to. I had to really reel myself in. Um, but I will go out again at least one more time. So stay tuned for a part two of my thrifting for my honeymoon because I really do want all of my pieces to be thrifted and there's just, there's more to buy. We have like 10 days. So I need a couple more outfits and then I'll be good. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me and learning more about how to thrift and what works for me. I hope that you guys give these tips a try. Let me know if you hit up any of your local thrift stores don't forget to give it the video um, a huge thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already it would mean so much to me to have your support here on my channel and I will see you in my next video bye